The problem reads, find an equation of the plane passing through the point P, 0, 2, minus 1, and normal to the line, little p, x equal to 2t, y equal to minus 1, and z equal to 4 minus t. Now, we know the equation of a plane given a point and a normal directional vector. What do we have here? We have a point, but we have a line. So we need from this line to make a normal directional vector. Let's see that this is enough information. Here's our three-dimensional graph. Here is our point P, 0, 2, minus 1. Here is our line, P. And what we need to do is to make a directional vector from this line, P, i.e., this directional vector. And then we have a normal directional vector and a point, and we can make the plane. So how do we get the directional vector from the, the line P? So we have our point P, 0, 2, and minus 1. And we need to get the normal directional vector from the line. And we know that that line is in parametric form. So directional vector for that line is Rx, Ry, Rz. So the coefficients of t are the components of the normal directional vector. So let's find that. R of p is, and what's the coefficient of t here? 2. What's the coefficient of t here? A 0. And what's the coefficient of t here? Minus 1. So now we have a point and a normal directional vector. And our formula for a plane is this, where a, b, and c are the components of the normal directional vector. So our plane is 2 times x minus 0 plus 0 times y minus 2 minus 1 times z minus minus 1 plus and a 1 there equals 0 which is 2x there's no y minus z a minus 1 equals 0 so there is an equation of the plane passing through that point and normal to that line so this is the plane 2x minus z minus 1 Let's see that it actually is normal to the line and to the directional vector. There we can see that it is indeed normal. In our next video, we're going to find the intersection of the line and the plane that we found. That is this point C, the intersection of this line and our new plane.